city of Kelowna road crews are ready to sink their teeth into the first major snowfall of this winter. I mean, I might be speaking for myself here. I don't know if I can speak for the rest of the team. <laughs> We're chomping at the bit a little bit here for, uh, you know, regular winter operations. Upwards of 10 centimeters is due in the city by Wednesday and even more at higher elevations. It's been a slow start to the snowy season compared to the last two winters. On average, over five years, we average 27 snowfalls that we respond to with our equipment. If you if you looked at so far this winter response, so that'd be the 23-24 winter, uh, it's only been three snowfalls, which is like in, incredibly low. The city has 20 plows and sanders ready to roll, including four from contractors. It is also putting a priority on clearing pathways. We, we have 10 municipal tractors that service our uh, multi-use corridors and sidewalks. Uh, the multi-use corridors would be like the rail trail, Ethel, the new Casorso link. Um, and then sidewalks would be the city responsible sidewalks where it's the bylaw exempt, uh, you know, fronting parks or civic properties. And then obviously residents are responsible for the, prop the sidewalks adjacent to their properties. Thanks to the mild start to the winter, only a portion of the 2023 snow removal budget was used by the end of December, allowing the department to return about $800,000 to reserves. The 2024 budget is set at just under $3 million. For Castanet News in Kelowna, I'm Cindy White.